Hello guys, Christian here. Today I want to show you in Camors a 5-axis tutorial about machining a rotor turbine blade. So, let's start. This is a rotor blade. In theory, this blade is not so easy and it is important to define properly a stock. Also, because in Camors I have the ability to uh, mill in assemblies, I create an assemblies for a 5-axis machine with a chuck. This is, this is a stock and the blade. Okay, because uh, this blade, the, it's a little bit hard to machine, I create two configurations. I will show you both configuration in order to see the, all the operations. So, for roughing the blade, I create a multi-axis cycle in Camors using a fake cylindrical surface. This is, this is the fake cylindrical surface. And as a gauge area, I select all the, all the blade. So, let's check the multi-axis mill one rough in multi-axis milling in camos you have a tab which is called roughing you can define multi passes on axial cut depth on and depth processing and you will have the ability to uh, have a tool pad like this one and as i told you as a pattern, I create uh, a pattern flow line between curves. The multi-axis feature defined is this fake cylindrical surface. And as a gauge check, I select all the, all the surfaces of the blade. Let me show you. So, in this is the faked cylindrical surface and this is the avoid area of this multi-axis milling. So what does Cam Camox do in this case? It will project, it will create around the fake sur sur uh, surface, cylindrical surface a continuous tool path which will project automatically on the blade. The result is something like, like this. I will start the simulation. So this is the roughing of of all blade. I defined multiple passes roughing three multi, multiple passes with four millimeter spacing then I will create using the same technique I create uh, with a ball nose 20 millimeter diameter I create another roughing operation and then I will start semi finishing and finishing the airfoil of the blade because this blade is a little bit small, I create two operations for the airfoil, one with a ball nose diameter 6 and one for this area with a smaller, smaller ball nose tool because it is necessary. So let's check all these operations again. I will start the simulation. It will take a while, but... Uh, you will need to see all the simulation, all the all the operations, and if you want to use in five axis in Camox this technique by using a fake cylindrical surface as a pattern, I in most cases I use flow line between curves. It is a, a good technique. It is um, you can also see this technique in uh, five axis and multi-axis tutorial uh, of cameras but trust me if you have uh, a surface create a fake surface a cylindrical face surface 
cameras will generate automatically a toolpath on this cylindrical surface and then go to ghost checking and select as an avoid area all the part you need to be machined so cameras will project the toolpath from the fake cylindrical surface to the actual surface you need to be machined this is the final step of first roughing now the second rough operation using the same technique with fake surface using a ball nose tool diameter 20 And then I told you using the same flow line between curves in a 5 axis cycle, I use a smaller ball nose mill because this is a smaller blade and the airfoil needs to be machined with two ball nose tools because of this area it will need to I, I need to create another cycle using a different pattern because you can see here you you have a problem on this area and this area for a rotor blade it is very important So now for the this area of the airfoil of the blade, I created another multi-axis mill with another pattern between offset from curve from this curve using a smaller ball nose tool diameter four. So right now another let's say complex area of the blade it is this area and this area so let's go back and check this multi-axis cycle with ball nose diameter 4 with a pattern flow line between curves my mistake from curve 1 to curve lower curve and upper curve and 5 axis tilted at an angle around that z-axis 20 degrees so this tool will stay around z-axis on a fixed angle for as I told you this area and this area needs to be machined carefully so I created uh, some cycles for this area then I finish all the root this is a, this is the airfoil of the blade this is a root this is another uh, another upper uh, surface I will machine all these four faces then this and this area simple 2.5 axis cycles i will start the simulation but just to 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 understand which are these 
these operations. So let's start the simulation from here. If you if you press if you select an operation one commerce operation three, select shift and from this contextual menu select simulate. These operations for whip window appear. Just select OK and then Camworks will run the simulation until this selected operation. So as I told you, this this area needs to be machined in different ways. For this blade, I choose to make a cycle with a pat with a pattern offset from surface. The green surface is the surface selected. And the offset from surface is the red one. The red surface is created by me in surface module of Camor Solids. The same on the other side. But also for this area I created the using the same red surface. I created this cycle for this area for uh, with a smaller ball nose diameter 3 offset from curve the curve selected is this one it is the intersection between this area and the airfoil of the blade the root of the blade and the other side the other side it's creating using 2.5 axis open profile contour mill for this area another multi-axis for this angle angled area the same for the opposite one for this let me simulate again and then for this area with a radius another 2.5 x axis contour milling the same for the other side and then the side which defined the radial angle of the blade this one and this one and here are another operations for the bottom area of the blade and I will start the simulation to in order for you to see the, all the operations from this configuration as I told you in Camors you uh, have the ability to create configuration just like in Solidors or to create Camors configurations uh, in one file you, you can have as many configurations as you want and imagine a new configuration it's just like a new part with a different stock and so on the second configuration I will show you I create I run the simulation from configuration 1 save the stock as STL and use it and as a stock from the configuration 2 in configuration 2 I machine this part so I'll run the simulation again for uh, this blade in Camors
So th this is the blade from configuration one. As I told you, I saved the whip as STL and then use it as a stock in configuration two. For launching, for, uh, launching the second configuration, just click show configuration. In this configuration, I, I use as a stock the stock from an STL file with a part from configuration one, and in this part, I create several multi axis operation for this area and this area, and I will run the simulation and then using the same patterns and then another for this area. So run the simulation. Don't forget to use this camera's configuration also because it is very useful. So this is the blade from configuration one. And right now I will start the simulation. Only one pass for this area and then another one for the opposite area with a ball nose 6 and then using the same pattern just like in configuration 1 with the same ball nose tool for this area and then the simple 2.5 axis operation so this was a rotor turbine blade made in camors 5 axis using all the parameters in 5 axis milling cycle from camors if you have any questions feel free to contact me or if you have ideas for future tutorial just write me on linkedin or on my youtube Thank you for your attention, for your attention. Until the next time, bye.